Hello. Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Parker, Sarah Jessica. Yes, at time of filming, the first two episodes of Endos Like That Season 2 have dropped. I've only seen the first episode. Is Samantha in it? Is she on Zoom? She's not in that one. No. But they get to go to the Met Ball in the first one. And so it's all about them getting ready Is that for like the, the Met, Met Gala? Ball. Well, that is the Met Gala. It's the Met Ball. It's called the Ball? It's the Met Gala and the Met Ball. They're the same. I think Ball is a little too gender specific, and I'm trying to fight against that. Well, Gala is pretty gender specific, it's too. It's pretty gay. <laughs> gala. <laughs> We're here to talk about a huge life update. This is something that Alexis took a long time to consider. Yeah. and to rectify an issue, and I want to applaud your creativity, your uh, gungo. gung ho -edness, mm -hmm. my ho -ness. Can you tell us about it? Well, listen, Darby Don't. sort of gifted me this first tattoo, no, I which didn't. I do regret, because since then it has it's, been it's confirmed. Potter, by the way, it's the Deathly Hallows. Yeah. Um, it, since then it has been confirmed that she's a transphobic piece of garbage, and... She's not great. She's not great. Oh. But even without all that, it's too big. I shouldn't have done I was drunk when I got it. I did try to stop her from leaving the bar. She I did. Incur she I got did. Well, you gifted it to me. This was her. No, and I it means didn't. a lot. And every time I look you at it. You want it. I and I was like, uh-oh, Alexis, don't do this right now. Well, I just wish I would have had the foresight to say, get do it smaller. If it was like half the size. Since then, I've thought about like, should I cover it? Should I get it removed? What should I do? Now I live with a, a, my new roommate and good friend, Meryl. I call her. Her name is Mary. I call her Meryl. I like Meryl. That's funny. I I think it's cute. She was doing another co-worker's tattoo. She was doing a butterfly on her butt, so it was a butterfly. And did it have a butt too? Did the butterfly have a no, butt? No, but that's such a good idea. That would have been cute. And then you yeah. could be like, and monarch this. You and bitch. I had been pitching ideas for the cover up, and then the other day I thought, what if I just got oops sorry as the tattoo? And honestly, I was a little unsure about it, but Meryl thought it was funny. I said it to Darby. Her initial reaction was, that's funny. It is funny. It is funny. So I got an oops, sorry. It's healing right here. Another reason is because I say I'm sorry too much, and I shouldn't. I don't have anything to be sorry so for. That way you just go. And that way I can just point at it. It's just really cute and little, and it and took funny. nothing. And also free. And also, I didn't realize I needed something on this one because I really like balance and symmetry. Mm, it felt heavy. This felt one, heavy. It, I felt unbalanced. Yeah. So. Well, this one this is one's so, this it's one's so primed cute. to harm a trans person and you can't have that. So you well, have to have I one. Try to harm, I try to harm myself a lot with this hand. You're talking about masturbation? <laughs> no. Yeah, you are. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could turn back time and tell Debbie Fox to get back to work so that I wasn't working that night when you got that tattoo. No, every time I look at this, I think about you. <laughs> you think about transphobia and me? I have work to do. <laughs> wake no, up call, wake up call. Me this. No, I didn't. Stop you blaming did. me for that. No, if we I right down the road. No, we didn't. No, because I was working and I told her don't leave the bar and she was like, ah, blah, blah, blah. but I will say when she came back. And she was like, <laughs> it was before the JK Rowling of it all. And Harry Potter, of everything I could think of, I was like, well, this will be with you forever. Like, you love I Harry had Potter. been wanting to get it, yeah. Yeah, so. And no, who would have ever thought that she would use her platform for evil? Well, I mean, she did write about witchcraft, which is inherently evil to the Christ Church of the, of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I'm not that surprised. But, yeah. So I wasn't that bummed, but now, obviously, yeah, it is a. Uh, Rather humiliating. It's an oops, sorry moment. <laughs> Talk about oops, sorry. But not in like a oops, like, sorry, I don't care. In like a oops, I messed up and I'm sorry. You didn't mess up. You did nothing wrong. Well, uh, there were rumble there were rumblings wrong. when I got that. I'm gonna be honest. There were rumblings when I got it. I was in denial because Harry Potter was so important to me. It's as such a, youth. a huge. I know. I don't think I've ever been so obsessed with anything as I was with that. I understand that. It's hard to let go, but I can and I have. The one tattoo that I, I thought if I ever got a tattoo, it would have to be something that was that meaningful to me. That's been meaningful to me forever. My name. It would. Yeah. It would just. It was a giant Alexis Bevels in Comic Sans. And you could put the P right in the crook so it could be there sometimes. Well, the P will be in Papyrus, not. obviously. Yeah. No, 
Judy's papaya. Judy Garland signature. That's the only oh. thing I can think of. I want like a tiny little Judy. The problem with that though is like I don't know how I. You know how like everyone's healing certain people. The tattoos will kind of spread, so they can be all tiny and cute, and then they get a little bigger. I don't know how my skin would react, and I would want it to be so tiny that I'm afraid by the time it healed, it would just say Judes. Well, I have an idea how to prevent what? that. You could get it on your erect penis and that way it gets even smaller when you're not erect. You bring up my hard cack a lot. Now that you're straight, mm -hmm. are you feeling something? Are we vibing? Towards you? Are we vibing? No. I feel so bad for people that are so big when they're soft that they can't get fully hard. Oh yeah, no, no, no. They're never gonna experience a f true boner. No, and that's one of God's gifts. Speaking of, let's get into this episode of All Stars. <laughs> we're top five, we're here. We just said goodbye to Kahana. No one is sad, because it's- No one's surprised. No I, I bet they're sad, but no one's surprised. Mm, they're probably just happy it's like done. Jimbo is slinging his baloney all over everywhere. Why and does Jimbo have baloney? Well, remember in her, reference to her in reference old, to her old thing. I think this whole episode she's just trying to make baloney happen. Well, I think this whole episode was Jimbo fucking with the production. I think she had her baloney. RuPaul came out. I, I think her baloney RuPaul's, had a first name. It's J I M B O. I think RuPaul came out, gave the instruction, this is a design challenge, and then I think she smelled that baloney and said, I'm not coming back out here, send Raven and Shasha out. Yeah, so it's a design challenge, and I do love that we see Raven a lot because she does Ru's makeup. And yeah, she's we, there. Yeah, she's there all the time. But to see Chanel come back in, this is the second time we're seeing her this season. This was the Chanel show. Can I be honest? Nonstop talking. Do you remember? I think my favorite moment yes, in RuPaul's of course, Drag Race history of course. is season one where they're doing the interview challenge with Tori Smelling mm -hmm. and her husband. I can't remember his name, but he's hot. And she was pregnant and oh, Chanel's nice. interview style is 13 and a half questions mm -hmm. in a row. So good. It's so good. And we got a little taste of that here. And I gotta say, bring her back for All Stars 9. I think Chanel and this... No hate. Okay, love is love. Love wins. Chanel gives me current season Alexis Michelle vibes. Hear me out. In that she she's annoying, but she <laughs> but she, but in a really in the best way. She's so fun to watch because her energy is too much. It's undeniably too much. She has a lot to say. She will make her point known even though everyone else has moved on. And she wants that talking head moment. She wants that quotable moment, oh, that so sound bite. Good. I'm not mad at her for it. Although something I might be mad at her for in the future is she took every single opportunity to tell Lala how grateful she was to have been saved by Lala and she will never oh, forget Alexis? it for the rest of her life. Yeah. Alexis Michelle. Sorry, yeah. I was still in, I was in Chanel. Yes, oh. Alexis does thank Lala repeatedly. Yeah, but Lala gets to assign the boxes because they do a design challenge from a box based on a winner. Hey, what will be in your box? I loved that. They brought I out do all the, the boxes. boxes with their names on it and there's just something I'm still, I'm still not used to seeing Shea Coulee, our Chicago queen. I'm still not used to seeing her. I'm used to it. I'm not sick of it. I, maybe I that's, love, maybe yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, that's what you mean. I still get butterflies. I still get so excited seeing Shea Coulee and to have Lala immediately reach for it. I'm just yeah, like. That was the correct choice for it Lala. It is so exciting. What would be in your box? Say, mm -hmm. say we're three years down the line, you've already won All Stars. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Because you went home first on regular. Right, and then I came back and lip synced so much, so well. Yeah, um, um, what would be in your box? Mine would be roller skates. Yeah, why don't you go first? What would be in your box? Well, let's just popcorn with okay. some stuff out. Because uh, roller skates, glasses. Pearls. I wear a lot of pearl. Oh, you love a pearl. Crosses, a lot of Christian iconography. I thought you were gonna say Crocs, but honestly that too. Crocs. Okay, for you. Tool, lots of tool. I would say lots of tool. Lots of crinoline. Crinoline. Yeah. And just a lot of circle skirts. Fabric. A line. It, oh, yeah. that's my favorite. Just a lot of that. A lot of fabric. A lot of fabric. A lot of fabric. <laughs> honestly, T, a lot of fabric. And then she'll make one thing with that fabric every couple years. 
What are you referencing? I don't know. Probably a cold, a lot of cold shoulder tops. That's what would be in mine. Yeah. It's the Kyle Richards of it all. I love a cold shoulder. Ooh, you know what else would be in mine? Like a, like a Subway sandwich. Okay, hang on. Look at my titties. They're tittying. Thank you. Out of all of the box choices, who would you pick? I do like Monet's style. I think Trixie would be the easiest. Trixie would be the easiest, but I think I would immediately go for Trixie. Yeah. It was pink and then but like I flowers. But when, but when I think about the stuff that Monet has has worn, I really like it. I love. And Monet's I knew style. there would have been some some cool stuff in there. I think we should get into the habit of once we get to a top six, we cut back down to hour long episodes because this was this was long. This was a lot of episode of just a few queens sewing. There was some fun bits with Jimbo. There was some, but that it was mainly just, Wall and Chanel took up a lot of that time with all the questions. I would love the advice. if they would just cut to Chanel doing like sports commentary of how they're cutting everything out. I'd love to hear what she had to say. I bet yeah. it would be related to nothing that was happening. Yeah. Should we go to the runway? Yeah. What did you think about RuPaul? I loved it. If you watch old RuPaul, yes, old RuPaul is like popping walking up on the TikTok. streets. Yeah, this is very similar. She was a very this, much a rock chick. Yeah, it felt like the natural progression of yeah. who she was back then in the '90s and to now. Like it's the same girl. It's just money and yeah. I loved it. It was so cool. I can't say that I loved it, but I did love the connection. It I made. loved the connection. Guest judge Brandon Boyd. I have no idea who he is. Who but is this man? Boy, do I want to know. Boyd, oh Boyd. Sir? Oh my god. She said rock royalty. So what is he? Like um, Nine Inch Nails? I think or... he invented the guitar. He's so hot I can't handle it. Yeah. I don't care who he is. Candy Muse. Now she had Monet Exchange and not bad. Could have been better. So incredibly simple. But she did say, she did struggle. She said she accidentally cut the top so she had to redo it. And so I agree with the judges. Like the top came up a little too high. I wish it had been cut a little lower. And also, let's be honest, if you get the Monet Exchange box, I want to see you do something with the sponge. Get do me sponges. Instead don't of just, just hold coming in one. and... I guess she was soaking herself up, but yeah. do something. I don't know, make a little. But I love the hair. She looks so hat. pretty. Jimbo in the Trixie Mattel. I mean, this was cool. It was scary. I um, love when she was telling Candy that she had plenty of time the next day because she wasn't going to wear any makeup. And Candy's like, I don't know about that girl. And then that's. I'm very good at candy. <laughs> Jimbo's like, oh, don't you worry. And instead she comes out with pearls in a happy face, which truly is a Demented, thing of but cool and appropriate because she looks bald. La La Ri in the Shea Coulee, this gorgeous like tangerine experiments, experience. Ta La La Ri in the Shea Coulee box. Am I wrong? I didn't hate it. Yeah. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> you hated the dress? I do. I, I hate that her wig is falling off her head. Ah, uh, the wig. I think, well. I hate that you can see kind of the fabric tucked in. Yeah, I wish I the sleeves were different. I love La La Ree so much. And her growth on this show is very exciting. And I loved seeing this from her. The, the growth, not this. But seeing this look is a bummer. That reminds me, I have to get this growth checked out. Which one? My clit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ew, sorry. You know what? Since Toilet Gate, you've busted open. There, Did I there win? Is no shame. It's I want to be very clear. Wait, wait. I think I won. Let's I want to be Twitter very poll. clear. Okay, first of all, you're screaming. Because because you've created a false narrative. No, I haven't. That I shit on the phone in front with you on FaceTime. Did I say shit? You've created, a, you've let a false narrative be created. Okay, I won. You won, but under false... 543 votes. There is an hour left, so who knows? But Just I'm 53%, you're 47%. I get it, but they all think that I tried to call you and shit on the phone. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. And you could tell her the TikTok. It's you actively on the toilet. That's all we said. We didn't say anything about shitting or pissing. So for you to say shit, I think you're just saying that to make yourself feel better about losing. That it wasn't your fault. You're trying to blame it on a false narrative when in actuality, you helped tell the story and we don't say shit about shit. I know, but you... 
Okay, there is no difference. There you talk about active. active. You talk about active. There was no action because all I was doing was sitting. It is no different than me sitting in a chair or on my bed. We're not arguing that point anymore because Twitter has spoken <laughs> and you're wrong. Stop. I shitting. have already admitted that I would never FaceTime you again. I know and I appreciate that. This is going to be the you end. You brought it up. This is going to be the end. You brought it up. Alexis Michelle looking so gorgeous in this Trinity the Tuck illusion. Yeah. Actually, when it was coming down, I was like, oh, I wish it wasn't just a belt with tool. And then she turned around and the tool is connected to the dress. So I take it back. I think she looks gorgeous. I think the presentation was good. And she took the time to really line up the pattern and stuff. It may yeah. look a little simple if you weren't aware of that, but that's... It's impressive. That's very impressive. Yeah. Jessica Wilde in the Kylie Sonique Love. She looked gorgeous. And we didn't talk about how I loved good it. she was in that. Yeah, I loved it too. Sorry, what? We didn't talk about how good she was in the challenge last episode. Oh, I know. I felt Sorry. bad. That's my bad. Sorry, we saw the comments. I apologize for yeah, that. Yeah, she was really funny. Anytime Tacos, you let Jessica just talk. Be wild. It's wild. It's so funny when she's like, and she likes the, the soft taco, carne asada with guacamole. Like, <laughs> she, just, she just kept going. Yeah. Yeah, Jessica Wilde is... Oh, she's wild. I did not expect to like this. And when it first came out, I was like, ugh, what? I loved it. I love it. I loved how it moved. I could I see loved Kylie the form in of this. the breast. Yeah, I thought it was actually really good. I thought it was really good too. We do have a winner. It is Alexis Michelle. Congratulations. She got the hot box. Finally, and now she, she got finally win. got her win. Our bottoms are Candy and Lala, which isn't great. But based on the runways, I see how we got there. Yeah. Now it's time for Alexis to lip sync, and the lip sync assassin is Miss Nikki Doll. Nikki Doll. Nikki Doll. We, 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 we. We, who we love. Reminder, she, we've met her, and she's so nice. And funny. And she's, really funny. Listen, I may not have been in tuned to her goofiness on television, but her but she goofiness goofy. in real life. Play goofy. Ha ha ha. Oh, I met a French girl the other day. Okay. Because we're friends with our neighbors, and our neighbor... You're friends with your neighbor? Well, Mary's friends with her neighbors, and so I'm friends too, by extension. Anyway, the neighbor, one of them just got back from Thailand where they met this girl who's from France, and France is over here. And so France came over just to say hi and, like, hang out, and... Well, to say bonjour. To say bonjour, and I said, parlez-vous français? And she said, yes, do you speak? I said, no. But... I do know, I'm sorry, and I do know Happy New Year, which is Bonani. Boninis. And she said, you know your accents. She said in French, but I'm not going to do it. She said, you know your accent's really not that bad. Your accent yeah. is your not accent that bad. Your accent is not that bad. She was really cute. Ha ha ha. But then I, heard, then I learned she was 22, and I said, ooh. They just moved in a few months ago, but we have a couple doors down. We have a hot gay couple. They are the ones that caught me. I tried to see if I could break into your gate with my purse, do kind of like a I unha She I doesn't need to, because she has has the code to the front door. I have a code to the front She's door, but it's annoying because then you sucks. have to go. Our front door neighbor sucks. Well, that, but also you have to go upstairs. You sucks. have to do the code. Then you have to come around a courtyard and then downstairs and then back upstairs. It's, it's like, like it's steps. too much when you have a bunch of bags. I was trying to see if I could get the gate with my purse. I had like unhooked part of it and I kind of swung it over and I was trying to loop it around the, the knob and then the gay boys came out and I was like, I promise I'm supposed to be here. I'm just going to see my friend. They laughed. We've never, like, we do the nod, the friendly nod, but we haven't done the introduction. You know what and you should do? Threesome. You should just say, oh, wait, hey. That's four. No, we it can could make be it three. three. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, Curtis and I were coming up the stairs <laughs> from the parking garage, and I had this feeling that there were people behind me, but I didn't see anyone when we had initially come in. I was like, I feel so weird. You know how you get that feeling. And so we come up the stairs and we turn to go to our front door. And I was like, maybe I dropped something. Maybe that's why I'm having this eerie feeling. And I turn around and literally I'm here and one of them is where you are. And I turn around and I was like, <laughs> and we make eye contact. And then it would have been a perfect time to be like, oh my God, hi, sorry. You know, like a blah, blah, blah. But instead I went, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I just did like a weird, and then I made a, an Alexis noise, and I just, and then I just what zoomed do you mean out. By that? And the door wasn't open, so I just turned around, so now my back is just to him, and I'm still just standing there waiting for Chris Oh my to god, Darby, door. that's so awkward. I know! Let's, Listen. Let's go over right now and knock on their door. Okay. No, we'll get boners. <laughs> no, we'll get hard. Thank you. So, Nikki doll comes out. Nikki doll comes have out, to and they boots have to lip sync. I would have loved to lip sync to that. Which is, a, I think it's kind of a weird lip sync, but I think it's perfect for Alexis. But I think it was just, and Nikki, to be honest, I don't remember how she did she that is. great. Well, it's a weird. I mean, it's a weird song unless it's, it's your vibe. It's kind of weird vibe. song. Yeah, I, don't, I do. I don't they they think were both wearing blue vibe. and blonde hair. They both looked good. Which is very Alexis easy to take Michelle out. wins. Congratulations! She wins some money and she wins the opportunity to pull out the lipstick she chose. Now, at this point, given the emotional statement she had just made the day before, to hours Lala, before, saying, thank you so much for saving me. I will never forget this. She said, for the rest of my life. Right. Not and to Lala mention, goes, not to mention. keep that in mind. Don't forget me. And she's like, I never I never will. will. And not to mention the friction she has had with Candy Muse. Mm -hmm. Whether it was warranted or not, she's had kind of some headbutting with Candy Muse. Mm -hmm. Also, Candy is a front runner. She's a competitor. She's one to watch out for. I think this would have been a perfectly acceptable time for Alexis to go ahead and throw the Candy Muse out. Can I say this before we decide, before we say all of the praise that she was getting, Ooh. I was Alexis uh -huh. in the critiques. Okay, felt so nice because they were like, "Alexis, you are so perfect. Alexis, you oh. are so beautiful." And, and I never, never hear that, that from anybody. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, okay, o okay. Let's okay. Alexis, <clears throat> your dress is made. out of this world. Oh, Alexis? Huh? I do actually think you're very beautiful. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so, other, Alexis... The other one. Jesus Christ, Alexis pulls out the lipstick. lipstick. And guess whose name on it? Have you guessed yet? <laughs> Lala. Wow. I, I audibly, now, I no, no, uh, no hate to her, but it, no, as a, as a TV it's a move, TV show. whoa, mama, you just said. You j and so. And you got your ass saved The rest saved of your life. Week. The rest of your life? Listen, here's Not the thing. including this day? I want to make... Can I take a day off? I'm, I want to speak directly to Alexis. I don't know what that was. As an Alexis. Uh-huh. And, you know, we've talked on Facebook, when I had Facebook, years ago. Before oh, Before she went on there. Yeah. Because she was helping to make up for someone that my oh, friend knew. Nice. And it was, like, before. And I was like, oh, your name's Alexis. My name's Alexis. It's nice to meet you. And oh, whatever. That's so fun. She responded. She was very nice. She so, probably, Alexis... She's probably telling that story right as now. As your best friend, I want to tell you... Are you on the toilet? Well, it's a green screen, so do whatever you want. But listen, let's think about All Stars 2. Do you remember when it was time for Roxy Andrews to go, but she had loaned Alaska that T-shirt? And she did this and she did that. And they were like, well, we can't really let her go because she's our friend and we said we wouldn't. Everyone forgave them all for that. If you had just kept Lala and sent Candy home, I don't think it would have been that big of a deal as it is... The opposite, when you sent Lala home, even though you just said... Because it wouldn't have been a surprise. Had she pulled out Candy's lipstick, I think the reaction would yeah. have been like, yeah, no shit. If that's a possibility, I, I just wouldn't have told Lala. I don't I, I, get it. I gotta be honest with you, I don't get it. And she had said, like, it's also about, or I don't know if it was her, I don't want to put words in, in her mouth, but somebody said, like, it's also about who you want to see in the finale, not just about whose performance you liked better this week. We gotta start thinking about the finale. And I would have accepted that. That early on, but I think Lala has really proven herself, especially after last week. Yeah, and so I don't think that that's so, a yeah, valid in enough that, reason. In that respect, no, I don't get what you what she did. But of course, because and it, Lala is Lala, and she's so fucking nice. No, she's amazing. She joked around and like asked Alexis, "Let me check that lipstick again." It's and just she was very very gracious in her exit. But listen, I think everyone is going for her next. I think they want Alexis out now. Out of the four that are left. I think everyone's going to try and get Alexis out. I think it would make sense. 
She got her win at the last possible moment. She did get her moment. win. She was horny. But, but it was for at the win. last possible moment. And she betrayed the one person who she like, betrayed. Helped her. And honestly, runway wise, she's been one to beat. So yeah, really it would has. be smart of them to get her out. It really would. Yeah. Listen. I wonder. I think she did so much good and kind of rehabilitating her image and then she might have just kind of shot herself in the foot there a little bit i thought her entire character this season has just been like annoying that was like the main <laughs> well, that was the main adjective and i loved it right but then when you add this into it suddenly i'm annoyed by the annoyance before i was amused but yeah. now i'm annoyed i don't want to be the same word as the as the adjective to describe you okay i have a question about now is, okay. is nouns i we he she it they and you is that nouns or is that pronouns Pronouns. Pronouns. Okay, so during pronouns in the second grade, I was excited because I knew what they were. And so I raised my hand and I said, I, we, he, she, at they, and you. But I said, shit. What do you think nouns are? A noun is the name of a person, place, or thing. So like, garn and... A noun is a person, place, or thing. Right. And then a the pronoun name. is... Describes a person, place, or thing. I, I we, wish he, she, she, they, and you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about the ad noun? What's an ad now? Sayed from uh, Serial. It's free. Don't. <laughs> no, they locked him back up. Why? Did you They do said, it? psych. Oh, that's so but rude. But also, are you joking? What's an ad now? What is it? Shut up. I don't know what you mean. Is that, is that you making that up? <laughs> are you joking? No. Just tell me what it is. Shut and then up. I'll know if I know. Just Shut tell up. me what it is and then I'll know if I know. You don't, you have no idea. I know adjective. I know adverb. What's ad noun? <laughs> I think you Did made you that have up. English in high school? I went to te school in Texas, Darby. Did you have English all four years? Yeah. Okay, so when you learn noun, you learn noun, pronoun. But I remember that in second grade. Adjective, adverb. Or third grade. Yeah. But you just skipped over it. Just adnoun. tell me what it is and then I'll know if I remember it. No, 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 no. What is Sorry, it? Sorry, I'm being a bitch. I'm being a bitch. Will you tell me what it is? No. Do you know yourself? Yes. What's an ad I noun? have a high school diploma. Well, I have one too. So what does that tell you about yours? Okay. What's right. an ad now? So if you enjoyed this episode, <laughs> we will be back next week for whatever that is. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And of course the notification bell. We're also both on Cameo. Or if you'd like a message from both of us at the same time, you can go to imhotheshow.com and order a Shamio. We're also on Patreon where we have bonus footage. Every episode you see here, there's always bonus stuff from before the episode starts. And it's usually sex related. Oh. You found it? Yeah. Wait, I made it up. Is that a real thing? You made that up? Yes! You fucking bitch! An adjective used as a noun is called an ad noun? I made that up. You gaslit me? And then I got got! The English language is fucked. You have just experienced karma. Okay, get our merch at dragqueenmerch.com. See you next week. Bye. I'm mad at you. I can't believe that's a real thing. <laughs> Gosh. Listen, I think sometimes when we do these bits, right, and I'm, I'm trying I to did. gaslight you. Like you are really good at acting. Th that's what I think. When I'm watching You're these a good bits actress. back, when I'm watching these bits back, I feel like Meryl Streep. You okay. could be the next but character, then if great you character actress of our time. Thank you so much, Laurie Metcalf. But if you hand me a script and I read it back to you, I cannot I cannot create that. What's that? What I'm so that? mad. You have publicly shamed me for trying to FaceTime my best friend in I the restroom. I did not shame you. You have. Twitter did. Thank you. And now you have gaslit me into thinking that something that was real wasn't real just because I didn't know what it was. No, I was trying to get you to believe it was real and it actually was real. So I never therefore, believe, I didn't gaslight you. I never I not, taught you. I never don't believe you. I taught you. Oh, <laughs> I taught you. Listen. <laughs> I can't believe I just taught you for free. You also taught yourself because you made something up. Listen, listen. Sometimes I don't know who's who's teaching who, okay? If yeah, it's the student, sometimes the student sometimes becomes students, the master. They teach me the more than I teach the them, okay? And you used to teach kids with disabilities. disabilities. We, okay, we have been in drag for eight hours Yeah. at this point. She had something before this, and then we had a corporate gig right after that, and then we recorded a podcast right after that, and now we're recording this, and now we're going to do Drag Race Mexico. Yeah. It's been a 
quite a day. I know. We should eat. I'm hungry. Can what we get a little food? Yeah. Well, you were talking about those tacos. Can we get tacos? Chipotle? That's what oh, I said. If you if I don't you want say to get Taco so. Bell. I've had so much Taco Bell recently. I know. I live by one. And that's it's why tough. I have two. That's tough. You have boobs. That come off your body? Yeah. But I still have a lot in here. You have a lot of boob. I gotta be honest, my boobs are boobing. Are you excited about Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? Mm-mm. I am so excited. Mm -mm. Have you ever seen Indiana Jones? Yes. I was a big Indiana Jones kiddo. I feel like this Remember new I got one... diarrhea at the live show? Oh yeah. I feel like this new one's gonna be a return <laughs> to the old one. Oh yeah, not acknowledging that. I feel like I feel like you having diarrhea is like old hat at this point. You've had it so much. I had it in an old hat once. <laughs> <laughs> it was tough. Was um, it a newsboy cap? Listen, Harrison Ford, okay? Excuse me. Does not seem like a nice person. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, however. I love him. Yeah, but young Harrison Ford, like early Indiana Jones. They're doing AI young. Get They're doing it. AI. He's doing himself younger. Computer Which generated. Which is why we need Flashbacks. to support Writer's strikes. I'm gonna okay. change my drag. Anyone name. that I'm writes gonna change a my drag name to what? AI. <laughs> Will your drag start getting good? Yeah. Okay. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis plans on improving her drag. I will say this. Stop playing <laughs> with the tits in your hand and play with the ones attached to your body. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Harry Shearer was in Curtis's restaurant the other day. Who's that? He's the voice of oh, Principal I can, Skinner. I can, oh, I can see his name. Mm -hmm. Did he hear him first or did he see his name? Curtis, that is. He heard, not, he didn't hear his voice, sorry. Someone in the restaurant was like, hey, Harry Shearer's here. He's oh, like, that's oh kind of cool. Yeah. When are we going to go to Curtis's restaurant? Have we can't food? afford it. We literally can't. Like, we literally <laughs> can't afford it. Well, we could Cur go. Curtis has got to get some kind of discount. Not enough where we could afford it. I'm not really? kidding. It's that expensive. Ooh, I want to go. I did eat at the sister restaurant for our anniversary and... Oh, I wasn't was available so to go? Nice. Is that what? Yeah, unfortunately, the date of our wedding anniversary, you weren't available to go to dinner with us. What the fuck kind of... Qu what? Why? Well, pretty important. I mean, you wouldn't have gotten married without me. You don't remember I was the, the one wedding. who I was the one who decided on the wedding day. What do you remember? Uh, there was there was a fish. There was a some kind of burned flaky fish. It wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it wasn't burnt. I meant cooked. <laughs> I don't know. You had like a burned flaky fish it in your wedding. Flaky That's all fish. I remember. Well, I'm glad that it meant so much. Oh, and that we had an MC, according to you. You yeah. did have an MC, and she lit a RuPaul candle. <eah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why our marriage is going so well. Yeah. Okay, bye.